So welcome back. So we just read um, Dragon Post and uh, our focus was mainly on plot and setting. So in that book, setting the setting is always pretty much his house. Um, but what's unique about that is that even though his setting is just in his home environment, he writes these letters that not only propel the setting because it feels like the setting is all these different places because he's getting mail from everywhere, but also he, um, he really, like, it, it propels the plot as well because these letters, this story could be very boring. Um, it could just be this kid with a pet in his house. And while a dragon isn't boring, um, being in your house all day, every day with no direction, no activities, no nothing could be very boring. Um, so I'm glad that the author decided to propel the story forward with these letters that not only make the setting really interesting, but it makes the plot interesting. So this week, you received another baggie. It has a pencil and an eraser in it. And there we go. It's a create your own comic book format. So you can use this in one of two ways. You can either decide that when you create your children's book, it's going to be a comic book. If you're more into art, especially this is a great option because it has a layout in it that you can really utilize. Um, so that's one option. So you can actually start mapping out your entire book just like this. Or you can use this as kind of like your graphic organizer um, for your children's book. So you don't have to use all the pages. So you could start off on the first page by drawing your character, um, write down their character traits, what they like and dislike, what your story is about. Then go on to your setting and write what your setting is about and all of the things that make up your setting. So place, time, um, is your story in present day or is it, you know, in the 19th? 70s or is it in the 1700s or medieval times you get to decide that so you're going to pick the time period which is very important for your story as well as the location um, those are important things for your story then you can start mapping out your plot which um, is kind of like where you decide um, you're going to make like a kind of pyramid structure so you start off with your character and your plot, um, just description and your setting, and then you go from there and you start building. So you have rising action. Rising action is when your story starts to build. So you start off with your characters and then you start building on them. And then you have your peak of your, your pyramid, which is your major conflict. So what's happening in your story that is causing major issues? And then you go back down the mountain is how you resolve that problem. So you're going to map out your story in here, or you're going to use this as your actual book. Um, either way, it's going to come out really cool. Once you decide what you're going to do, I'm going to use this as my graphic organizer. So we've already talked about characters. So my characters would go here. I already know all of that. You guys know that I'm going to write about my cats. And then my storyline I would put on the next page, which we talked about last week. So my storyline is that my three cats are on a quest in outer space. They're going to be astronauts. They're on a quest to find the perfect space ice cream and save the world. So that's where my storyline would go. Now today we're focusing on our setting. So in each of these boxes, I would write place, time, any other ideas I have that would make the setting important. So my place is outer space. Specifically, they're headed to the moon.
So you're going to write that out. If you're using this as your book, I would start mapping things out like a graphic organizer on a separate sheet of paper and then transfer it over to this. My time frame is in the future. So maybe it'll be 2200, the year 2200. Yeah, hopefully, maybe we'll be living on the moon in 20, 2200. I don't know, um, but we'll find out. Um, and my ideas are we're on a spaceship. Maybe we'll be on an alien spaceship at some point. So you're just mapping it out. So that you have all your ideas in one place. Turn the page. And then you're focusing on your plot. So you already know your setting. So that's your first point. And then you want to transition from there. So this is really where you're going to lay out your whole concept of your story. So your first thing is your background information. Give us some background information. Tell us about your characters. We talked about this a couple weeks ago. Um, describe your character a little bit. Make sure that they have a motive. Motive is very important to fuel your character forward. Like the author in Dragon Post used letters to fuel their story forward. Your story has to be fueled forward by something. It doesn't have to be letters, but you need your characters to have some sort of motivation to want to do what you want them to do. So why would my cats decide to be astronauts and decide to go to the moon to find space ice cream? Why would that happen? So my job as the author is to figure out why that would happen. So maybe they are, they feel that ice cream on earth isn't good anymore or Maybe all the ice cream shacks and businesses have um, kind of gone out of business in 2200. Um, so maybe that's their motivation. Their motivation is that ice cream is their favorite food. And all the ice cream places have shut down. So that's a, an interesting way to approach this because if your favorite food suddenly disappeared off the planet but you knew there was an, an excellent version of it in outer space, would you go there? So my characters are saying yes. Your characters might say no. So that's up, for, up to you to decide how you're going to fuel that and make your character believable and want to move on through the story. Because if it's not believable, then the story is kind of like it kind of dies there because you didn't think it through all the way. So that's what we're doing now. We're thinking it through. So that's my motivation. So background and motivation is important. And then you slowly build from there. So now you have your rising action. So what kind of problems are they going to face? Like smaller problems. So rising action. I've put over here now. So some of the problems that they're going to face are maybe um, becoming an astronaut. It's a very intense process. Um, I think it takes a lot of schooling. So how would three cats get into the astronaut program? We'll figure it out. Um, how, then once they become astronauts, how do they get on a spaceship? Do they face any other problems? Do they have enough food? Do they, like, do they have families that they're leaving behind? Do they have to say goodbye? I don't know. So what are they giving up to become this, like, and achieve this dream that they have? So my rising actions right now are becoming an astronaut, getting a spaceship. I'm sure as I write, I'll come up with more. So then from there, after your rising action, then you have your climax. The climax is the very top 
of the pyramid or of your mountain. So it's, it's like up here. This is the big moment, the big kahuna. What's going to happen? So maybe they get into outer space. They're almost to the moon. And suddenly, uh, they get hit with a giant meteor and their spaceship breaks down. So I'm just going to write that down. So that's the climax. What's going to happen at that point? And how are they going to solve it in falling action, so down the mountain, to make sure that they are going to get that ice cream and make it home safely? So from there, your job is to solve the problem. Okay, so you have your problem, and then the rest of the story is how you solve it, which, so the resolution, the falling action, and the resolution. And the falling action and the resolution are what we're going to talk about next week. So this week, I want you to start mapping out the full process of your story. Climb that mountain, figure out what's at the top. What are your characters going to do? And then next week we'll fall down the mountain. And we'll um, really talk about conclusions and resolutions and falling action and how to get there. And then um, the following two weeks after that, we will be working on putting everything together, creating our art, um, really f finding some sort of format for our book and making it available to share. So that'll be really exciting. So thanks for sticking with me through this, and I can't wait to see everybody's stories and what you guys come up with. Um, feel free to email me if you want some suggestions or you just want to show me what you've been working on. I can't wait to see it. Okay? Have an awesome week. Bye.